What's up guys? So we're back at it today building the uh, AR-15. Um, we did the lower in the last video. Now we're going to do the assemble the upper. We got Wilson back here with us and he's going to uh, he's going to show us how to put the upper together. Then we'll uh, we'll be ready to test this sucker out. So let's get to it. Let's get this uh, upper put together and we'll uh, move on from there. All right. We'll go ahead and install the Ford Assist on this. When you look at this here, it's got a dog paw on the end of the here. That way it'll actually push the bolt forward if you need to, if the bolt doesn't close all the way on its own. So you just drop this in through here. Once you get it back in here, then it's got a place that the roll pin will catch. So the easiest thing to do is go ahead and start your roll pin first, then put the forward assist in. And once you get it started, you don't want to drive it all the way through. You're going to watch and just gauge it as you're driving it in. Go ahead and drop in your forward assist. you got to keep a little pressure on it. Make sure I get around and hold that in as I drive the roll pin the rest of the way. This roll pin as flush as you can get it. Alright. Some ARs are smooth side, no injection port covers, no brass deflectors. This one here does have both. So we have to install the injection port cover on it. You got this little spring here. The long tab will go on the back side of the injection port cover here. Slide your pin through, put your spring back here. All right, so after a little, little bit of headache there, <clears throat> we the, the long side goes on the front there and then we can, had to twist the spring back around so your little short little stub sticks up right there and that way you get resistance on your dust cover there to make it make it so it'll open up so now we've got to get a little c-clamp on that that little guy right there That does it. All this does is keep it from backing out. Your barrel nut to keep it from going forwards. This keeps it from going backwards as the gun's in operation. We'll do a one camera view. Then the C clip is on. You can push it all the way back. Like I said, once you put your barrel nut on, it'll keep this pin from sliding forwards. That keeps it from backing out as the gun's in operation. All right, next step from here is going to be using the armor's block to attach the barrel. You can pick these up from pretty much anywhere online. All right, on your barrel, you're going to have a line-up pin on the uh, barrel here. It's going to go into the upper. Once you get your barrel seated all the way into the upper, <clears throat> you're going to run your barrel nut back so you can start your threads. This here can kind of be tricky. You got to torque it to at least 60, but don't exceed 80 foot pounds of torque. 
while trying to line up a hole for your gas tube to go back into the upper. All right, once you get this little hole here lined up <coughs> to your upper here, it'll actually look like a cross inside, which will tell you whether you're needing to go forwards or backwards to get your gas tube to center correctly. I actually do make a special tool for this. You can use this square to make sure that you get your gas block lined up correctly the first try. Pencil's not gonna hurt the barrel. You can wipe it back off with an oil rag. All right. Now we have another roll pin here that we have to install into the gas block to hold the gas tube. So on your gas tube, of course, this hole here is going to go towards <coughs> the bottom of the gas block. And of course, it's going to allow the gas from the barrel to go back to the tube and work the bolt carrier group. All right, back to the mark that we put on the barrel here. I want you to go to put your gas tube on. Just to kind of help you keep a visual to make sure you keep it all square so you don't have any cycling issues later down the road. And of course, you want to seat your gas block all the way back against the barrel here. Then you start your Allen screws from the bottom. That done here, we're going to go ahead and put this ring back on that came with this barrel nut. Now we're going to screw the key mod free float heat shield on. There's different style heat shields, it's pretty much preference. Free float seems to be the easiest, it's the less tools required. A2, which is normally with a front post site, can be a little bit more difficult to install if you gotta deal with delta ring. And you're gonna turn this around here to where you get your Picatinny rails to line up. Back this nut back against it to help snug it. You get one Allen screw with a detent, goes through the bottom to lock it in against the barrel nut. And after that, you have this here's just an A2 bird cage with a crush washer. This part right here, if you don't know what this is, you're an amateur and we can't be friends. If y'all haven't seen that uh, Demolition Ranch video, I'll link it. I'll link it up in the corner there. I recommend stopping in and watching it. And you bring, get the armor's tool back out and just tighten it back around to where the flash ports are to the top. Last thing to assemble of the upper will be the carrying group itself to make sure everything is correct. On your bolt, you actually have rings just like a piston of an engine. You want to make sure the orientation of these rings are offset. Before we assemble this, we're going to go ahead and oil it. There is manufacturers that do make a no lube upper and bolts it typically cost more and these just run as good as they do push this back in bring it around this pin here you're going to drop it in with the wider square or rectangle facing out once you get it in you're going to turn it work your bolt back forwards making sure it stays square. You're going to take your firing pin, drop it in from the underneath, then take the cotter key and put it through this hole right here, which will lock your firing pin in and keep it from falling apart. 
bring the bolts back together. The upper is just about completed. Take your charge handle, multiple different styles. This one came with the kit. Drop it in. There's a notch in the top that'll catch. <clears throat> Take your carry group upside down, drop it into the charge handle, work it forwards. Yeah, that's a completed upper. All right, last step here is to uh, put your upper and your lower together. So you just got to line, line everything up. Push your pins through and you're good to go. Now we just got to lube this thing up and take it out here and see if she fires. Now is there any um, special um, places and stuff we need to lubricate or I normally on the first go arounds will take and just rub the whole bolt down and regal everything else okay pop your rear pin out bolt back out These two holes here are your main oiling points. It's just a couple drops of oil through both of them. Work your bolt back and forth to oil the rings. You go ahead, put a little oil on the bolt itself and a little oil through the hole back here. Just work it back and forth so the oil gets moved around. Just take a rag, put a little oil on it, especially on a fresh build. It's not going to hurt anything. It's going to run a little dirty. You have to take it and field strip it. But just go ahead and oil everything down. That way there is no resistance or friction. And once you're done, you can just put the bolt back in. Somewhat and should be good for the range. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining us there on that build. We're going to uh, get some ammo loaded into this thing and then take it out here, see how she does. But uh, yeah, hope hopefully um, that's helpful for somebody out there. Um, it's certainly helpful for me. So uh, it's it's nice to nice to know what all the different parts and pieces are and uh, yeah, really get down into the gun there. So. Um, Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Remember, guys, get out and do something. Hi, thanks for watching.